A right-wing magazine wrote an article about how maybe the anti-gay laws in Uganda went a little bit too far. So right off the bat here, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Any right-winger who would say, look, you're going too far with the anti-gay stuff, credit on that issue. In fact, I've even given credit uh, to Glenn Beck on that issue. Glenn Beck said multiple times that this is hetero-fascism, this isn't okay. So uh, everybody who's finally drawing a line somewhere, uh, I commend you. Good job. Well, apparently this was outrageous to Paul Cameron of the Family Research Institute. Of course, the Family Research Institute is a vehemently anti-family organization because they hate all families that aren't like Leave it to Beaver. One man, one woman, usually white, with a white picket fence and a dog and three kids and that's it, right? They don't, they hate gay people. It's a vicious anti-gay group. And he responded with what might be the dumbest anti-gay argument of all time. That might sound like hyperbole, but listen to this. He says, quote, Laws against murder are harsh and unlikely to be effective in completely stopping murder. But such laws educate as to what is correct and serve as a disincentive to commit murder. Just because we cannot specify how many lives were saved by a particular law hardly means that the law was ineffective. Surely the fact that people still commit murder, rape, or theft would not cause Dr. Olasky, who by the way is the conservative that said Uganda went too far, to label them as ineffective or not worth having. So do you understand what he's saying there? He's saying, yes, we should criminalize homosexuality like Uganda did. Because you're disincentivizing people from doing it. Even if it's not, you know, foolproof and it doesn't stop 100% of the time, it's still setting the right precedent and it's, uh, you know, doing the right thing. In the same way that not, it's not like all people are going to stop murdering, but you should have the law against murder. Yes, he's comparing being gay to murdering someone. Stay classy, dude. But if he wasn't clear enough, he says, quote, Homosexuality violates God's first commandment to be fruitful and is the very heart of Bible or biblical denunciation of rebellion against God. See Deuteronomy 32 and Romans 1. Homosexual, homosexual lust led to the painful incineration of 26 brave Ugandan Christian boys and young men. It cannot be ignored without substantial intellectual and moral per peril. Arguably Christianity's greatest preacher. John Chrysostom, I never even heard of the guy, called it the worst sin, worse than even murder. So that's twice, he made the argument twice, that first being gay is equal to murdering, right? And you sh it's, it, both are immoral, so it is what it is, you can call them equal, you gotta make laws against both of them. And then th he just takes it a step further. He says, being gay, or acting on gay urges, is worse than murder. Yeah.